A soft ball is hit over a third baseman's head with some speed v naught at an angle theta above the horizontal. Immediately after the ball is hit, the third baseman turns around and begins to run at a constant velocity v is equal to 7 meters per second. He catches the ball t is equal to 2 seconds later at the same height at which it left the bat. The third baseman was originally standing L is equal to 18 meters from the location at which the ball was hit. Find V0. Use 9, G is equal to 9.81 meters per second square for the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity. Find the angle theta in degrees. Okay, here what we have to find out initial velocity and the angle in degrees. Those are the two things. Here what is happening? Uh, yeah, this is of, about the baseball, baseball game. Okay. Yeah, batsman hits the ball at an angle theta with a, some initial velocity v naught, and then a baseman catches the ball after two seconds, who is standing at a distance of uh, eighteen meters, and then runs with a constant velocity of 7 meters per second for 2 seconds. Okay, so this is the information given to us. So this L is equal to 18 meters. Okay, and then his velocity V is equal to 7 meters per second. And he runs for a time of 2 seconds. Therefore, the distance is equal to Vt, that is equal to 7 into 2, 14 meters. Okay, he already at a distance of 18 meters and then he ran for 14 meters. So, the total distance is equal to 18 plus 14, that is equal to 32 meters. Okay, now when it comes to the x, this is entire thing is happening along the x direction. Am I right? Horizontal direction. Therefore, vx is equal to, we have to find out x component velocity, vx is equal to distance over time. So here the distance is 32 meters and then time is 2 seconds. So the velocity is 16 meters per second. This is the x component velocity. Now we have to find out the y component velocity. To find the y component velocity, the time of flight of the ball is 2 seconds. That means t total is equal to 2 seconds. That means t total is equal to t up plus t down. I write like this. I'm a bit comfortable in this in that way. Okay, so I write a lower case t. T up, t down. Okay, therefore t total is equal to 2, 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. Total time. Okay. Now we have to find out the y component velocity. To find the y component velocity, we use the first we require the this one. Okay. So Vyf we use the formula Vyf is equal to Vyi plus AT. Okay. Now uh, at the highest point, maximum height at H max. V is equal to 0. Am I right? And then A is equal to, he gave A is equal to G is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Here what I do is I will take the negative sign. As it goes up, the acceleration, uh, the velocity decreases. That is why I take G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. Now if I substitute these values here, this is equal to 0. B by I plus negative 9.81 meters per second square <coughs> times one second. This is one second. So V by I is equal to 
9.81 meters per second. Okay. Now what I have to do, I have to find out the velocity. Okay. So velocity is equal to square root of Vx i square plus V by i square. Okay. Now what happens? This is the Vi. Okay. So this is equal to square root of, this is 16. Okay. 16 square plus 9.81 square. <coughs> Therefore, Vi is equal to 18.76 meters per second. Okay. Next, he is asking us to find out the angle theta. So that I, what I do is Vy i is equal to Vi sin theta. Okay. So here, uh, 9.81 is equal to Oh, this is VI is equal to 18.76 sin theta. Or sin theta is equal to 9.81 divided by 18.76. Am I right? So that is equal to 0 0.5226. Or theta is equal to sin inverse 0 0.5226. That gives a value of 31.51 degrees. That is the answer for the question. Okay. So this is how we have to do the problem. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.